Arvest Bank is pleased to bring you the Legend Series, where we focus on individuals who are committed to their communities, much like Arvest. And in the case of Carrie, she wears beautiful dresses, if you think about her. She's always dressed very nicely. You know, we have a custom shop within our own facility uh, in Fairview Heights, and we, on some of the things, will match the microphones to her dresses. It's, it's just little things that we do for them. Of course, the performance of that microphone has to be absolutely golden, yes. and, and it is. We're very, very blessed that I, I came up with some, some good ideas, and that was interesting. We started this company after the, the run, and I was about 14 years or so on the road. I got tired of the road. It, it just, a lot of the people, uh, the music scene changed, and uh, it wasn't a good place for me personally to be. So I sold the company, and I went back to that plant, and m most of those people had found other jobs, but we started building microphones and headsets for the emergency communications and ham radio. And it became a very, very cool thing because ham radio is huge. A lot of people think, oh, that's dead. No, we just got the FCC report again last month. It's grown like it's never been. And we are this pretty much the sole provider of microphones to that industry worldwide. And it became quite a, an interesting uh, happening there. We, we took advantage of that. I, I came back off the road and got back into my ham radio, I hadn't been on the air for about 12 years, and the audio was terrible. There was another, another golden chance for me to do something, and I started building microphones and headsets that sounded great on ham radio. Then the emergency people uh, came in and they start using it. And this has been going on for all these years, since 1980, 81. Uh, we, we brought equalization to that market. It had never been done before. That's really my, my big play that, that I brought to the, the market is that we tuned the microphones and all these transmitters so that they sound better. And, and you got a lot of noise and all the signals are out there. And if you have the right equalization and microphone, it cuts through. Well, we fast forward all of that till about 2005 or six. <clears throat> Joe Walsh is a very active ham radio operator. And uh, we had a home in California for about eight years because I worked in those rehearsal halls so much. And, and Joe said, um, when it was sitting at his kitchen table one day, he had my ham radio. We, we have a, a microphone called the Gold Line, and it's a very popular microphone. He said, I need you to change the connector because I'm going to use this on stage. And I said, really? Uh, you're going to take your ball mic away? Oh, yeah. He said, that doesn't, that doesn't sound good at all. Your, your ham mic sounds better because we had played with the equalization of it. So we started in with Joe at his kitchen table two ham radio operators, figuring out what he wanted as an artist and as an audio engineer. He doesn't have a degree, but he certainly knows. And that really started a huge movement. Uh, I built that mic for him. It was a special microphone then just for him. And he started passing it around to his buddies at these rehearsal halls and recording studios. and. People starting to call me. We're talking about artists. We're talking about engineers. And uh, all of a sudden, it became a viable thing. And my wife, Sarah, she owns the company these days. And she said, we need to divide this and make two divisions, a pro division and the ham radio division, which we did. And it's just gone crazy from there because now, we're doing, as I said, just there's dozens of artists. Keith Urban, Charlie Daniels, every microphone on their stages are ours. And because they sound better. And again, I go out with them. Sarah and I will go to some of their shows even and make sure that even after they're on tour that everything sounds okay. And that, that's something that none of the other companies they, don't, they feel they're big enough. We're, 
their ego gets a little bit ahead of them, you still have to get down to the basics of the user, no matter if it's a ham radio operator in Bolivar or if it's a, a giant that's got gold records. Mm -hmm. They all have the same need and that's what we do and that's what built Heil Sound. And I saw that early on that that would be a thing that we needed to do to compete and really make Heil Sound a lot better than the other companies. Like the individuals highlighted in the Legend series, Arvest Bank is committed to our community. Click on the link below to find out ways that you can engage with us to help make Springfield great.